Hello, welcome back to my video. I apologize for not uploading last week, mainly because last week was last weekend was my birthday, so I decided to enjoy it, take a break. But yeah, today's video uh is regarding about a crystal ball. It's a tall reading, so whatever in this video I'm going to say is just entertainment purpose only. <laughs> just take what resonates because it may not necessarily be true. So I just wish to clarify that with you. Anyways, so there's a lot of things going on with Katie Joy with my crystal ball. This ball, first and foremost, her name is under fair use, fair dealing guidelines because her name, her channel name is public. I just wish to state that just to protect myself. So. Like I said, just please take what resonates. It may not necessarily be true. This is just entertainment purpose only. And if Katie herself is watching this, this might help her because I'm doing a tour reading of her. So whether this is going to be helpful, whether it resonates or not, that is up to you. I'm just going to get started. <clears throat> I'm going to use my Gilded Tower deck. Let's see, what is going to happen to Katie Joy? Please and thank you. What is going to happen to Katie Joy? Please and thank you. What is going to happen to Katie Joy? Please and thank you. What's going to happen to Katie Joy? Please don't think it. First card pops up. Nine of Swords. Oh, you guys probably can't see it. So, first card pops up. It says Nine of Swords. And second card pops up is the Lovers. Maybe. Yeah, the Lovers card. King of Swords. Okay. And the outcome for her is the Two of Swords in Two of Swords. So I'm gonna put this on the side. I'll be using my new tower deck, uh, Anima deck, so it's nice and new. Please clarify the cards. Please and thank you. Please clarify the cards. Please and thank you. Okay. This card wants to pop up. Queen of Swords. Uh, 
uh, followed by the King of Pentacles in reverse. Ace of Wands. Please clear for the Two of Swords. Please clear mm. Okay. We have. Nine of Wands in reverse for the Two of Swords. Okay, so that was the Anima card. And I'm going to use the Wishes Tower deck to clarify all of them together. Templates. Please clarify the King of Pentacles and the Robbers. We have the Four of Pentacles. Please clarify the King of Swords and Ace of Wands. Okay. Two cards pop up. Okay. We have the Eight of Pentacles. And the Ace of Wands in reverse. Uh, hold on. Yeah, the Ace of Wands in reverse. Okay, so clarify the Two of Swords and Nine of Wands in reverse. Oops. They pop up. First card pops up is Six of Swords. And the Six of Pentacles. Okay. So right off the bat, Katie Joy is, the Father Christopher is feeling stressed due to nine swords. There is some kind of union partnership going on. She's probably stressed due to a partnership. Probably something to do with her life. And we also have the King of Swords. Which represents someone who has authority, logic, calmness, clear or objective thinking. It could be her lawyer. Or someone in her life. Or she thinks herself as a, someone of authority. But I'm seeing more of the lawyer here for the King of Swords. So to clarify this Knight of Swords, we have the Queen of Swords. Which 
she's stressed but she's trying to stay calm trying to be having some sort of independence having I think I'm most to her to her perspective she is trying to have some kind of rational thought or intelligence but as you all know her action says otherwise and the lover's card uh, with the king of pentacles in reverse clarification is that she is stubborn it says speak of someone who is instability possessiveness rigidity stubbornness so despite this is probably her mindset like this is how she sees herself but in retro's perspective like how like overall she is acting how we see her is instability stubbornness possessiveness or how other people see her this is what i'm getting here and for the king of swords with the ace of wands is someone who is probably the loyal authority logic calmness having some kind of breakthrough or inspiration or enthusiasm I could be wrong here this is just what I'm getting from the cards um, like I said, take what resonates. To clarify it, um, the Nine of Swords, Temperance, Harmony, or, but I'm seeing here that it, the cards is telling her to be patient. Because Temperance is all about patience here. And if the Four of Pentacles for the Lovers is a uh, material possession greed anxiety about money fear of taking a risk but i'm seeing here that this she have an anxiety of money a uh, possibly some kind of greed maybe probably because of her lawsuit so financially she's struggling she's definitely uh, suffering from anxiety due to money issues at the moment and she's acting out in a stubborn manner um it which to our other people's perspective instability and then, if, so for the clarification for the King of Swords is Eight of Pentacles and Ace of Wands in reverse. So it's basically saying that she's honing the skill. Someone is Katie Joy or the lawyer is learning, honing the skills or apprenticeship long-term goals because that is what eight of pentacle is so at most is someone that is holding the skills interesting probably has something to do with that motion to dismiss document because it was not really professionally written the smile 
opinion regarding to the motion to dismiss by Katie Joy and Rebecca Christopher, I just feel like it's not professionally written. Uh, if you want to learn more about it, go to Emily D. Baker uh, to understand it more. And so with the King of Swords, we also have the Ace of Wands in reverse. So boredom, lack of motivation, lack of focus. I'm getting a sense of lack of focus here. Like, he, this person has a really wonderful mind, intelligence, but they're lacking the focus and even though they're at the learning stage, honing their skills, they're just lacking the focus. It could be Katie herself, or it could be her lawyer, it could be either one. Like I said, please take what resonates, and let's go to the outcome. We have the two of swords here. So, what it means in terms of what is happening to Katie Joy is that she is having this indecision or blocked emotion or have this need for balance this is Katie's joy's outcome and it's followed by the nine of wands in reverse which is someone being defensive paranoid feeling hesitant I'm seeing more of a Defensive paranoia. I have mentioned in my video regarding her in the in my previous video that she was acting the way she's acting right now is out of just being defensive. In regards to being cornered and her situation. Anyways, um, in the outcome, she's being defensive, she's feeling her blocked emotions, feeling loss of trying to find balance, but she's also trying kind of indecisive. So at most, what she's trying to gain at the moment is she wants to transition, try to move or try to recover from what is going on or what is happening to her and with the six of swords that is what it means um but she also has the six of pentacles so she wants some kind of financial support generosity charity benevolence uh that is what she hopes will happen she wants some kind of financial support while she's trying to move on or recover. Uh, this is what I'm getting here. But I'm going to clarify. Like, the, like even though I clarify the whole each card, so I'm just going to clarify the whole reading. So I'm going to clarify with the Anima Mondi deck. Please clarify this whole reading for me. Please clarify. Much like. and thank you. Please clarify. This one pops up. This is four pentacles. Again, greed. Um, so we have the four pentacles. Uh, please clarify. Oh. 
two three cards pop up. One is three of pentacles. One is two pentacles and one is seven of swords. Interesting. One more card. Please clarify. I see here that it's a lot to do with financial her finances, money issues here. And two of cups in reverse. So two of cups in reverse. Ten of Wands in reverse. Okay. Okay, I think it's this way, yeah. Ugh. Okay. So, what it means again anxiety about money. Greed, fear of taking risk. Uh, she's definitely have to deal with her lawsuit. And uh, she is trying her best to have this teamwork to or encourage him. Encouragement, collaboration, probably with her lawsuit, try to make things right, but not more in a way that helps to relieve her anxiety regarding her financial issues. And she's trying to find the balance, especially with this partnership, like with her lawyer, and probably multitasking due to the two of pentacles however she has the seven of swords so which is not a really good card so despite all these three cards she's in her mind uh she doesn't care she's going to deal with this with, by deception selfishness, secrecy, stealth, there'll be betrayal at most and probably going to try to work, do things in her way, becoming a lone, being a lone wolf, if that's the correct wording. So this is what the Seven of Swords is saying here. Despite her wanting to do all this, there will be deception, secrecy, Selfishness, all of those. Because Seven of Swords is all about deception, the sneaky, rather than facing it head on. So, and uh, she has the King of Swords in reverse. King of Wands in reverse, sorry about that. King of Wands in reverse. She's going to act in 
it pretty much means someone that is going to be impulsiveness, pushiness, aggression, or have some kind of unrealistic expectation. She's, she's going, I'm getting the sense that she will be acting out on all those, and given by her actions of reason, it kind of shows. But it's all acting out on her being defensive. Um, we also have the Moon card and Two of Cups in reverse. For the Two of Cups in reverse, it's imbalance, trust issues, tension, um, disconnect. It can also mean breakup in normal reading, but I'm seeing more of an imbalance, tension, trust issues going on. She's kind of disconnected with reality. reason why I said that is that the moon card usually in the upright it means someone is in a illusion they're wearing rose colored glasses or deception the moon in the upright is deception but this one is the moon is in reverse so what it means is that a uh, blocked intuition, unhappiness, confusion, imbalance. So she's kind of disconnected to reality. She's confused. She's not sure what's going on, but there's, again, imbalance here. And it all stems from defensiveness and also anxiety of money at the moment. I could be wrong, but like I said, do please take what resonates because it may not necessarily be true. I hope this clarifies things in terms of the reading. If it doesn't, I do apologize. I do hope it helps. But anyways, if you like this video, please like, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. If there's a particular reading, tarot reading you want me to do, please comment down below. Much appreciated. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.